okay you guys our next video replacing a relief valve on a hot water tank a few things few steps you want to take in a certain order never ever seal a pressure valve because it's leaking never let <laughs> right off let leak into a bucket uh, five gallon bucket whatever bucket until you get someone there okay usually they only leak a little bit it's a rarity that they'll keep steam or hot water coming out of it then you have to shut the tank off or shut off the cold water supply to it but better off shut off the tank so the gas trailers will keep running because the control valve the control valve is not working properly it gets stuck closed or open or whatever it is okay so but 95% of the time it'll leak it will not per se steam come out of there or a bunch of water come out of there the water has to be very hot most relief valves that I've seen so far are about 150, 150 psi excuse me they can go from anywhere to 150,000 BTU to about 500,000 BTU so you want to be careful with that rating also Usually when they reach the temperature steam 210 212 degrees at sea level is where you get The relief valve will start to open Other times as people will exercise they flip that little switch To open up the relief valve to check it see if it's working and then see if it shuts closed Or uh, when you're faced with the relief valve, I don't necessarily recommend that because if you have sediment calcium whatever in there it gets stuck in between the seal and the seat valve with a where the seal sits on the valve that's enough for it to leak now you gotta replace the valve it's the older tank the less is recommended maybe on a new tank but I never had to do that and I wouldn't recommend it at all you'll see the three quarter inch pipe where I unthread the extension to the floor should be about six inches or slightly less above the floor taking the valve off isn't that hard making sure it's nice and tight is good I was mentioned in the video that it might be plastic where it threads into it should actually be cast because the water is hot and it has a gas tray on the bottom with fire so it should actually be cast should not be plastic uh, if it is something's not right <laughs> okay um, but I've never seen a plastic so my bad on that one you'll see me break the seal uh, disconnect one of the hoses the output to the unit the hot water output I was also very scared of the gate valve because it was there 50 years didn't want to turn at first finally got it to turn felt it close I didn't want to crank it down so it doesn't reopen got it to reopen thank goodness drain the tank down below the relief valve itself so I can remove it without getting water on the floor you, I'm draining it below the relief valve because I didn't care how much it's draining I just don't want to get no water on the floor could drain all the way for I care uh, so I was doing all that and we were good so far I got the valve out I got the valve in no major issues and I'll explain the rest in the video I hope you guys enjoy I'll see you guys in the next one bye put a link below mega tape have a decent video on this people might say none of this is important but rigid aluminum pipes 30 years been using these guys flashlight Milwaukee one with the bevel and the magnetic head on the bottom. Cheap, husky, $7 screwdriver. Nipix, Knipix. And then the two valves, I got a longer one and a shorter one. You need to read the label, what they are. Whether they're 1500, 150 PSI, 200 to 500,000 BTU, so on and so forth, okay? These are pop-up relief valves. You get too much pressure in a hot water tank, they relieve the pressure. The water temperature can reach boiling. 210, 212 at sea level. Can reach uh, steam. The bottom, there's the indication that it was leaking. Springs get worn out on here. Sometimes people exercise them. It just happens. I have to drain the tank down to a certain height so I can remove yeah, the valve. Got my hose on there, got my valve open. 
I'm draining the tank. And I cracked one of the hoses off. So I can let air in there so I can drain better. Okay, tank is draining. I'm gonna keep it draining down. I'm gonna disconnect the extension pipe over here. Should be about six inches above the floor per cold, okay? You are not supposed to cap this guy off and sneak in it against cold. The hot water tank can fly through the roof. Good half a mile high. Not a joke. You don't believe me, look it up on YouTube. <laughs> you will see things you didn't think you would see. Check how it's draining in a second. It's draining good. 14 should be appropriate here. We want to test it. This Exercise the valve opening itself. No water came out, so the water height is already low. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to keep it draining. It's a little warm, they were probably using it. I was a little scared of the gate valve we have in here because it's kind of old, it's very stiff at first but I didn't talk it down to close it and I left the hot water on the tub open she's a short guy there's the spring inside that wears out okay I got a short one along one with me a lot of times you can't tell. I, I thought this was short just by looking at it. I would say a good 85% of them are short. Some of them are long. Let's get this on here and then we'll start reversing the process of filling up the tank. I think you guys saw some stuff on tape on the uh, other one. The mega tape is probably the best on the market right now. It's twice to three times as dense. It seems more malleable, can be used on gas. This comes prepped already with some stuff on it, but a little extra can't help. Putting it on the correct way can't hurt either. Since it came prepped already, I don't need a lot. I'm in a tight area, a tight closet where there's a door here. My stomach doesn't fit. <laughs> I can force myself in and out, but so having a little difficulty working today, but that's what I. Thread this on by hand, nice and easy. Once you know you're threading on good. This one's a little bit longer, it doesn't matter. I'll talk it down with the pipe wrench in a second. These almost never really leak. You do it right, okay. Yep, this is gonna be the last time I can feel it. I'm not 
you're going to need more than this. And I don't know if it's plastic on the inside or not. But we're going with what we need to go with. We're not going with much more of the extra if we don't need to go. But we will test it. Make sure it ain't leaking. Uh, I think one more. Let me say this, sorry, this one time. That's definitely gonna be nice. I know some people may say, that's not the right way to use the pipe wrench. But whatever works in a tight area, that's what works. Let's shut off the valve, stop in on the tank, and see what we got. Hook up our holes again. Valve is shut off. We hook up our hot water supply to the unit. Again, thread it on by hand. You gotta be careful too because you can get cut doing this. And the good thing is the person who did the install here didn't put it too tight so they didn't crush the uh, rubber washer in there, which is nice. I think I'm gonna have a problem with leak, so but we're gonna be careful. times I say when you're tightening this you hold on to the spot the old days the rubber used to be a lot thicker a lot better they're thinner now and you can crush them deform them so it's a good practice we don't have to put the pipe on yet we're testing the unit we can actually open up the valve since I shut off the drain valve on the bottom here I am fitting in here and she just opened it up because I didn't crank it down. You guys can hear it filling up now. Which means I gotta shut off the tub. I'm leaving the tub open a little bit so I hear it flow good. Get all the air out of the system and make sure I get any black soot from the rubber inside the gate valve. It's filling it up good. Sometimes you hear some spurts of air go puff, puff, puff. I haven't heard it yet. It's got some drips there. And if you use a tub, you don't get all that soot in your aerators at the end of your faucet, your bathroom faucet, your kitchen faucet, you get it directly out of the tub, which is what you're going for. There it is, there's the air. Can you find open all the way, packing's not leaking. We're doing pretty good, the test is almost open. You guys can hear the air in the line. Okay, the air in the line is out. I got a very tiny leak over here. A little more torque and we should be good to go. Okay. No more leak. Oh, a little more. Try to get the wrench in there the right way. Get my stomach in there the right way. Yeah, I got the wrench in there the right way. <laughs> we got it. No leak here. When the tub is at, no leak from the valve. We can put the extension tube on. We're good to go. Okay, you can see I got the extension tube on there. 
when I take the hose off the bottom, I gotta pick it up, keep it in the air, while I drain the water out of the hose so I don't get any water or black water in her unit. So that's the last step, and I'm out of here.